morning everybody it's day 124 and just left my cell site at the top of a ridge and it's 7 a.m and i'm already sweating so we're off to a good start there it actually is supposed to be somewhat cooler today i think it's the high last time i checked was 83 so we'll see um there was a chance for rain but i think it's gone and based on what i'm looking at right now Looks like today is going to be more of the same of climbing up boulders. Um, as you can see, there's like a white blaze up here on this tree, which means we have to go all the way up this and it just keeps going. Uh, I think we're actually hitting the lemon squeezer today, which should be fun. Uh, it's a pretty iconic spot on the AT and then hopefully should make it to mile 1400 today. Uh, I would love to, like, try to push a bigger day today, but with all the rocks and stuff, like, not even just rocks, like, literally boulders, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like I have to move so slowly. Again, I'm carrying so much water because all the water sources are dry, and so having to carry, like, a ton of water weight on me, my backpack's just pulling me back while I'm trying to, like, climb up and over some of these boulders, so obviously like my pace is like way slowed down because of that but um i'm gonna try to do at least like 15 miles today and then from there you know we'll just see but yeah so it's a tentative plan and i'll figure out the rest along the way so stay tuned morning view from the top of the ridge clouds are beautiful this morning Looking a little dark over in this direction, but um, according to the weather forecast, uh, it originally said it was going to rain all day today, and now I don't think it's going to rain at all. So, another day of dry water sources. Wow, another lovely morning view. It almost looks like fall time <laughs> with these like dead leaves on the ground. Wow, that's beautiful. Once again, I feel like all of New York would be so treacherous if it was raining. Like these slabs of rocks are on like a huge decline and it's hard enough when the rocks are dry. I just cannot imagine doing this while it was raining though. Angie, it looks like there's a water cache here. If there's actually water, I may actually cry. No, Bo, you survived agony grind. Let's see. These are empty. <gasps> Wait, this one has a little bit in it. Just a tiny amount. <gasps> it looks like there's water in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, what a relief. Um, I actually fell down on the water. I mean, I got water on the mud. Fell down on the rocks again. Um, I did that once in PA also. Luckily, I fell on my butt slash hip, but that doesn't mean it didn't hurt. So having water is like such a pick me up. I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> but I could, but I won't, but I could, so. I'm gonna drink water instead. <laughs> I gotta save these tears because that's electrolytes, you know what I'm saying? Got a short little road walk today and fortunately, the road is closed. Unfortunately, because the bridge is out, but <laughs> that means I get the road to myself, which is nice. That way I don't have to worry about skirting on the shoulder of the road because there is no shoulder, so. Worked in my favor. Well, the bridge is out for cars, but not for hikers, I guess. I don't know. I didn't see any kind of detour for it, so I'm just going. <laughs> Looks walkable though. Friendly reminder that you can do hard things. I feel like this is very timely for me. <laughs> since, I don't know, I'm just feeling quite literally beat up by the trail right now. 
and I just can't help but thinking like if I'm getting this beat up by PA in New York then like what are the whites gonna have in store for me so we'll see you got this I hope I do I hope I do <laughs> Looks like we got lots of stuff coming up. Lemon squeezer in 1.7. I'm thinking the West Mountain Shelter Trail in 12.5 is where I'm aiming for today. But <laughs> if the rest of the day is anything like this morning with all the rocks and whatnot, I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far. But Hoping it's gonna just be a nice leisurely walk for the rest of the day, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh my gosh, I literally thought that was a trail. I just looked over, there's a white blaze over here. Okay, well, I need to start paying attention. <laughs> you can see here on my tattoo just how bad the humidity is. It's just a layer of sweat all over me. And yeah, it's like sweat too, but the humidity is what's causing it for sure. We made it to the lemon squeezer. It's down there. If this shows you for scale how big these rocks are, here is the AT sign down in this little cove here. And as you can see, Whew, got some big boulders that are about to go up. <laughs> oh my god, okay. How was it? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like my backpack is gonna be like ripped up after this. How did you even get up here? Upper body strength. I don't have any of that. Um well. <laughs> How was Easy. it? <laughs> so Wasn't even hard. <laughs> Thank you. This is wild. We've got a different strategy from sunrise. <laughs> Holding the pack, throwing it over. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, boy. More climbing. And the fun continues. Oh, nice and scrambly today. Taking the blue blaze down to the Tirati Circle, um, which we've heard has bathrooms and water. So it's a bit off trail, but we need water. So it is what it is. The most beautiful sight, water and a bathroom, crazy. So nice here. There's tons of people out hanging out, enjoying the nice weather. I'm on a mission to find a vending machine and hopefully some Powerade. Just spent ten dollars on a Powerade Coke and Starburst, but worth it. Another big climb. But I've never heard any. Wow, this is so beautiful. You can kind of see New York City in the distance. So they're trying to put a detour in effect for the road crossing at the Palisades Interstate Parkway. 
So the trail as it stands right now goes here where we are currently across this parkway here and then comes back up here. Um, they are trying to reroute to go all the way up here and then come back down and reconnect to the trail here. But the issue that most through hikers are coming to terms with is that the reroute is like three and a half miles long and also it bypasses the only reliable water source for several miles. So obviously everybody is skipping it and just crossing the parkway like the old route has it, um, which this is the old route here. It's still white blazed. And then this is the new route that they're trying to white blaze. I think it's like in process. So I imagine next year this will be the actual trail and they'll probably remove these white blazes. But as it stands right now, I think everybody is skipping the detour and just um, going, going for the parkway crossing, which obviously we're going to be safe, but it is five o'clock on a Friday. So kind of worried about it, but hopefully it'll be fine. All right, we made it to the road crossing. The good news is that it is a one way. So across these two lanes and cross here and cross the other two. The bad news is that it's rush hour on a Friday. So we might have to wait for a while, but it's okay. Made it across one side, now on to the other. Okay, we're ready. We made it. Everybody survived. Good work, team. Looky, looky, we made it. 1,400, woo, 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 woo. Eating good tonight, folks. sounding music, chanting, drumming, coming through the woods. It can't be more than a mile away. Um, I'm hiking out. scared so I think the best thing for me to do in this situation is to leave so just gonna start hiking a little night hiking unexpected but it might be fun anything is better than this I think so it's just so loud I don't know what it could be. It's 1.22 a.m. Yeah. All right, we made it to the top of the ridge and the music is gone. So we're going to bed. <laughs>